All right, guys, I got a quick video here with the 2015 BMW X3. As you can see, we've got a rear tail light out and it's a running light. And I went back behind, looked at the bulbs and there's one single filament bulb up here and then there's a bulb down here. But this isn't a standard halogen bulb. That's actually an LED. Supposed to be a lifetime component, meaning it's never supposed to be serviced. It's supposed to last the lifetime of the vehicle. Well, obviously that's not the case. So I'm going to open this thing up. Apparently there's a LED controller chip that's mounted on the backside. And I'm gonna see what that looks like, maybe try to reflow the solder connections, see if that works, otherwise we'll have to replace that chip. So we're gonna open up the rear hatch and pull this thing out. This is the tail light that we're looking at. It's got a little plastic hatch here, the spot you can put a trim removal tool in this spot and push it in that's what happens when you work one-handed but this is a little hatch if you look up here there's some insulation that you just had to push out of the way and then here is the wiring harness going into it there's another one here what we're going to do is we're going to pull this entire assembly out which requires removing this nut here that pulls this little retaining clip down. So after we remove this nut, this retaining clip will come out and then this whole assembly will pivot out this way. We can pull it out. that that's that guy that's the only thing holding in the tail light Put that down there now we can this clip right here pulls out these two bulbs like that and then if we push up you can see there we go up and out uh, we're gonna need to unplug that connector so now we've got this guy out these two bulbs are still just hanging here that's fine those two bulbs are fine these are the two bulbs I was talking about earlier I think they're both single filament bulbs yeah those are fine it's this LED controller chip right there so we'll look at that all right so this guy right here that's i believe the culprit i looked at all the solder connections and i mean i'm no expert but they look okay i'm just going to replace this piece and i picked this one up and if you look at them and compare them they're not that similar it doesn't look like but i got this off of amazon and it says that it's compatible with this vehicle so i'm going to install this quick see if it works if it does i'll just replace this chip all right so i've just got this guy hanging up here just resting up here i'm going to uh, install this which is simply just plugging this in uh, it goes in series with this wire that then attaches to I believe the power source so i guess it's coming from here through here into the chip and then into the leds so let me plug this in real quick and we'll turn the vehicle on and see if that solved the issue 
All right, I've got this plugged in here, coming from this connector here up to the new chip, and then up to this LED, and then we'll just have to hit the ignition switch. turn the lights on let's see this one is on and looks like that was success successful yeah so it's just that chip this is really easy this is probably five minutes of your time and I think it was about twelve dollars on Amazon